have a hard alibi. Fun's fun. Give me a rest. Now don't start squawking, Elmer. A few more rehearsals and we'll be able to ditch these two wandering trouble hunters and get ourselves a job on the stage. Ain't you an optimist, though? Elmer sure got your number, alibi. We're getting plenty fed up with that jabbering. Why don't you put that dummy away? Who's a dummy, you big ape? Get down off of that horse and I'll tear you apart, if I can catch you. <laughs> I'll take it easy, Elmer. You know, the Dusty and Crash are plumb hard to get along with. If we get that vaudeville contract, we're gonna have to put up with them. You darn tootin' you're gonna have to put up with us. And if we have any more trouble with it, we're gonna use Elmer for firewood. Yeah, you and who else? Trouble, that's all you and Crash think about. If we find enough trouble back on the ranch without going out and hunting for it, against one. Looks like that hombre in the wagon needs some help. Let's go. Cut out the foolishness alibi. This is no time to clown. But I didn't do nothing. For the love of Mike. Hey, Dusty, look. It's a real baby. A what? Doggone, I knew there was trouble coming. All kids ain't no trouble. Well, you don't know kids. My baby, he was in danger, so I... No, oh, take it easy, pal. Take care of him. Bar H. Marion. Look out for Amos. Poor little maverick. <laughs> I 
There's nothing to identify him. Well, what do we do with the baby? Take care of it until we find out what's in back of this killing. He said the kid's in danger and to look out for Amos. Say, uh, you suppose that's the young one's name? No, nope. I'm betting Amos is someone else. Well, what about this Marion in the Bar H Ranch? You reckon we ought to look him up? Yeah, but first we gotta go into town and report this shooting. But what if they think we did the killing and throw us in jail? After all, we're strangers here. I never thought about that. After all, there's no reason for us to lead with our chins. Yeah, I guess you're right. So if we turn the horses loose, they'd head for home. Right. And we'll take this two-legged Yerdon to that cabin we just passed until we're sure who it is. That's right. Give me a hand. Whoever killed my brother apparently turned the horses loose and knew that they would bring him home. Have you any suspicions who might have committed the crime, Miss Horner? No. We've had a great deal of trouble ever since the state started buying gravel from our ranch for Medicine Hat Dam. A couple of our men were mysteriously killed, as you know. And Bob's life was threatened several times. That's why he was taking the baby to town. He thought it would be safer with Mrs. Parker. But now my brother's dead, and no one seems to know what's happened to the baby. Marion, Bob was my best friend. His will appointed me the baby's guardian, and I'll help the sheriff search until we find the youngster. Chances are that Bob Horner's killers are holding the child. Rex, get a posse together. We're combing the country for that baby. the sheriff's office today. You heard right. Didn't I tell you to never come here in the daytime? Oh, you've got nothing to worry about now. We got Horner out of the way, and you're sitting pretty. Sitting pretty, huh? Where's the baby? Why, did those three strangers bring the kid into town and report the killing? What do you mean, three strangers? The wagon with Horner's body showed up to Bar H. Nobody was with it. Say, there's something phony going on, then. Yeah. After we plugged Horner, three hombres started shooting at us, and we had to take out. But well, they must have the kid. Well, you birds sure put me in a tough spot. Until that kid's found, the court will hold up my trusteeship of the estate. Well, after all, we're no mind readers, Morley. Listen, we had a deal with you. We won't go into that. Find that baby. And you can fix it up somehow so those three strangers are blamed for the murder. See, that's an idea. We'll check with you later on. yet? Just about. Let me have that bottle. You know, Dusty and I are going into town tonight, and we'd better hurry up and feed my little maverick. What do you mean, your little maverick? Didn't I find him? You mean I did. You know what? I'll bet he'd go for this. He sure would, if you'd loan him your teeth. I remember when I was a kid, I like cows just to, hey, watch what you're doing. <laughs> you'd never make a mother. Thank you, the baby. I bet I know what he is. He needs new dungarees. You think you can do it? I reckon I ought to be able to, seeing as how I'm an expert at throwing a diamond hitch on a pack mule. Ain't it? 
There's a young fella saddled his pants aplenty. <laughs> now look what you went and done. Right and had him quiet down, too. Down. Sounds almost as bad as Dusty singing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll let the baby decide that. Come on, get out of there, Alibi. Weather eye open for trouble. We'll try to be back from Medicine Hat by midnight. What do you want? Oh, I want a little bit of information, Sheriff. I'm looking for a gent named Amos. You mean Amos Hardy? Yeah, that's him. He owns the gold mine saloon across the street. Say, have they found any trace of the fellows that killed Horner? No, we haven't. But when we do, they will sure swing. Yeah, I reckon they will. Thanks, Sheriff. Find out anything? Plenty. For one thing, we're in for lynching if we don't find them killers. A lynching? Yeah. Well, what'd we do? Well, we're holding a kid that ain't ours, and he can't talk and say we didn't kill its old man. Gosh. Well, what are we gonna do? Have a look at Amos. You got his trail? He's within walking distance.
Amos, if Kirk and his boys don't find that baby, we're liable to lose the gravel contract. I can't sign a thing until the kid's officially my ward. Your proposal to supply us with gravel from the Bar H Ranch has been approved by the board. The $50,000 covering the guarantee you requested has been deposited with the Medicine Hat Bank and will be turned over to you upon receipt of enclosed contracts duly signed. This acceptance expires July the 14th. There's no use worrying, Jim. If those three strangers still have the kid, they're no doubt trying to find out who he belongs to. Well, I hope you're right. Once we get our hands on that $50,000, we're leaving this burg for good. Well, boys, what's it gonna be? Take mine a Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. I'll have milk, and my partner will have milk, too. I get you. A little uh, rattlesnake milk, eh? My partner said milk. Milk? Mm-hmm. Milk. No luck, Molan. You couldn't catch cold in the barrel of ice water, Kirk. Now beat it. I'll talk to you later. Didn't I tell you to beat it? Two of those strangers have got the kid out at the bar. Try and get them out of the saloon without any trouble, and we'll see what they're up to. We're looking for Amos Hardy. Is he around? Yeah. He's in his office. All right, Jake, set him up. I'm buying. Stranger in town? Yeah. Looking for work? Maybe. Why? Well, I just noticed the way you do them, pack your guns. Thought maybe you'd like to hire them out. Maybe. What's your proposition? Let's go outside and talk it over. I don't see why we shouldn't talk it over here. That is, if the job's on the up and up. I'm not in the habit of discussing my business in public. Are you interested in the job or ain't you? If you put it that way, stranger, no. It might have to do with ambushing some rancher in a buckboard with a little baby. Are you? Those two know who the kid belongs to. They'll show up at the bar age. I'll ride out there the first thing in the morning. Dusty, I guess they didn't follow us. Nope, I guess not. I reckon we'd better turn in for the night. Is the baby?
baby still asleep alibi? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind having him. That is, if he'd sleep all the time. <laughs> all joking aside, Trash, if nobody wants a little rascal, why don't we put our brand on him? Why, sure, why not? Well, it looks like several people want him pretty bad. We've got to see that he gets to the right one safely. Mm. Well, we might learn a thing or two at the bar age. Gosh, you can't be hungry again. It wasn't the whistling, it was the bonnet that did the trick. Well, you stay here, Elmer. What kind of a cow hand are you? Who, me? Uh, oh, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, why, I, I work on the bar age. Oh? Why, well, uh, you're the sheriff? You bet your big boots I'm the sheriff. Uh, well, uh, well, I, I, I thought so. What are you doing in this get-up? Oh, this. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm rehearsing. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going into vaudeville. Well, I'm not. I'm looking for some men with a baby. Have you seen anything of them? No, sir. They're desperate characters wanted by the law. Hey, that's a baby's bonnet. Oh, this. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, why, uh, uh, this is my, belongs to my partner. Your partner? Yeah. Hey, Elmer. <laughs> uh, this here is my partner, Elmer Sneezeweed, Sheriff. This is the sheriff. He's trying to track down some bad men. Bet he couldn't track an elephant in three feet of snow. Huh? A polite little fella and funny. <laughs> Very funny. Maybe so, but he ain't funny to me. I can't understand what possessed Marion to hire a cow hand like you. Cow hand? <laughs> Why, Sheriff, cows don't have hands. <laughs> don't forget to come back when we get her act down good. Plum loco. So am I. Huh? Oh. Well, you saved my life that time, Elmer. Oh, gee, I'm a big boy now. Stop and take this hat off of me. Now, remember, Dusty, don't mention the baby and let me do the talking. Oh, you always want to do the talking. You're getting to be as bad as Elmer.
I'm going to take a look at that bushwhacker and find out what that shooting's about. All right, I'll circle around the hill. Wait a minute. You heard me. Strangers aren't welcome around listen, here. Listen, will you? Just listen once. You said and done enough. I thought you... you were the gent that just took a pot shot at us. Didn't we, Dusty? Well, you told me to let you do all the talking, Crash. You're sure getting places. Did you say Dusty? Crash? Yes, ma'am. I know. I've heard those names before. You're the range busters. Well, only two of them, miss. Alibi's waiting for us back at Pete Jones' cabin. I'm Marion Horner, and I certainly want to apologize for my actions. Oh, it's all right. This ranch belonged to my brother. He was killed yesterday. We're very sorry, miss, but we're mighty interested in the case. I've heard so much about the things you've done. Suppose we go to the ranch house and talk there. Remember what she said? Strangers aren't welcome. And that's about all there is to tell. Amos Hardy has been trying to buy the ranch for the last year or so. But Bob refused to sell. Do you reckon the same as Hardy has anything to do with these mysterious threats and killings? I don't really know. We thought perhaps he was trying to frighten us into selling, but we couldn't prove it. The sheriff's been carrying on an investigation, but so far nothing has come of it. Well, what about this lawyer you mentioned, James Moreland? Why should your brother leave a will appointing him the baby's guardian and placing him in complete charge of the Horner estate? Jim Moreland and Bob were lifelong friends. He's always handled Bob's business and advanced the money to keep the barge going. Do you owe him any money now? No. The gravel we've been selling to Medicine Hat Dam has cleared all our debts. But Bob was against ruining the looks of the ranch by digging the gravel. So when the last contract expired, he wouldn't renew it. Mm. Moreland thought he was very foolish. Mm. Well, this Moreland sounds like a right interesting gent, ma'am. If the baby shouldn't be returned, would he still be trustee of the estate? In that case, the ranch reverts to me. But I don't want the place. It rightfully belongs to Bob's son, and we have to find him. We'll find him all right, ma'am. And don't you worry. Thank you. Might be easier if you'd call me Marion. That is my name. Mm, that's, that's a, a nice, nice name. name. Well, I reckon we'd better be going. Marion, if anyone asks about us, we're working for the Bar H. I understand. Good morning, Marion. New hands? Yes. This is Dusty King and Crash Corrigan, Jim. Two of the Range Busters. Jim Moreland. Hi, Mr. Moreland. Range Busters, huh? Howdy. Well, I'm certainly glad Marion was able to hire men of your caliber to aid in the search for her nephew. Seems like the sheriff hasn't been able to pick up a single clue. Well, we might not be able to do much better, Mr. Moreland. Oh, you're much too modest. Howdy, Miss Horner. Hello, Jim. Any news? Not yet. Well, I'm still on the trail of the young one. 
Have you got some new hands living over in Pete Jones's cabin? Why, yes, the boys. Oh. Well, I've seen you before. Yeah, but I've got a job now on the Bar H. I see. Well, I suppose it's your business, Marion. See you later. I think I'll be running along, Marion. I just stopped by to see if you had anything good to report about the baby. Goodbye. So long, man. So long. So long. Moreland didn't stay very long, did he, ma'am? I usually have to almost run him off. We've been, what you might say, halfway engaged for some time. Well, I'm sure glad it's only halfway. Oh, you are, eh? Well, it's not going to do you a lot of good with me around. We'll check with you this evening, Marion. Come on, Romeo, you're holding up the parade. She's my idea of a perfect girl, Crash. Yeah, she's beautiful, all right, but boy, oh boy. What a wallop. Uh, she wouldn't slap anybody she liked. Like me, for instance. three hombres were that butted into your little play yesterday? What difference does it make? Plenty. They're the range busters. You mean the outfit that cleaned out the Torrance gang in Paso Lobo this spring? That's right. No wonder they cause us so much trouble. Now listen to this. I think they're bunking the Pete Jones cabin. Two of them are at the Bar H, so the other one must be alone with the baby. Well, you don't have to tell us anymore. We'll get the kid and take him to the mine cabin in Mesquite Canyon. You can pick him up there tonight. Good. Hey, you Barna, put that baby down. You get strung up for this. Come on, Greg. Come on, snap out of it and talk sense. Oh. Hey, hey, the kid's gone. Gone? No, he's behind the curtains. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Yeah, he's here all right, Alibi. 
Well, naturally, he's all right. I switched to Elmer for the baby, and they took Elmer. What do you mean, they? Them three gunfighters that killed Horner. Those three gunfighters? Yeah. The only ones that know we're staying at this cabin are Marion, the sheriff, and Moreland. And Moreland left the Bar H before we did. Alibi, you take the baby to the Bar H and don't talk. Dusty and I are riding the town. Let's travel. Probably the kids since we left the Jones shack. Yeah, ain't even moved. Oh, a baby's this age sleep for hours. It sure is bundled up, ain't it? You don't think it could be smothered? I don't know. Let's give it a little air. What a dirty trick. Jesus. And that makes a dummy out of me. When I get through with those range busters, they'll laugh on the other side of their faces. You two wait here and get ready for company. Why, I just brought it home. Anything wrong about that? They sure enough is. Miss Marin done left just a while ago for Mesquite Canyon to fetch the young one here. What? Are you telling the truth? So help me, mister. About an hour ago, a gentleman come by and said he was sent by them two ranger busters that was here this morning. He said... Yeah, now what? Uh, he said uh, that they found the baby in that old mine cabin up in Mesquite Canyon. And, and, and Miss Marin was supposed to come and fetch him. Well, you take care of the baby. Yes, sir. Match Moreland. Turn around. Fifty thousand bucks, huh? Well, this is once you outsmarted yourself, Moreland. We're heading for the sheriff's office. Let's go. Jim? 
I just caught one of the range busters going through my safe. I'd have had him if his pal hadn't butted in. Which way'd they go? West toward the hills. Did they get anything of value? They got that letter from the state engineering department, Amos. If we don't get it back before the Horner girl sees it, we're sunk. Kirk laid a trap for them three troublemakers. And we're riding out to Mesquite Canyon right now to spring it. Wait, I'll ride with you. Good. Ranch, but the Horner girl's gone. Gone? gone. Well, where'd she go? Keep quiet till I get through. Some hombre told her that we were in Mesquite Canyon with a baby and wanted her to come and get it. Let's go get her. Oh, now, wait a minute. Outside of Marion and the sheriff, Moreland and his gang are the only ones that know our names. It's a trick. They're pulling this stunt, figuring that we'll go after the girl and walk into a trap. Yeah, but we'll just give them a little surprise. I got a letter in my pocket that proves Moreland's back of this whole deal. We'll force a showdown by bringing all the interested parties together. But don't forget, we're the ones that are being hunted. That's what I'm counting on. Dusty, you ride back into town and let Mullen and his gang get a good look at you, and that'll start a chase. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. I'm serious. When they take after you, head for Mesquite Canyon. Me and Alibi will hunt up the sheriff and lead him and his posse in the same direction. It sounds worse than a six-day bicycle race to me. But if our horses hold out, it ought to work. And we might find Elmer. Well, so long. Good luck. Say, Uncle. Say, Uncle. Say, Uncle. That must be the cabin alibi. Do you reckon that sheriff and his posse are still following us? Well, if they can't follow the trail, we'll have to blind. There comes Dusty. How you doing, Dusty? I'm lucky to be doing it all. I've been dodging bullets for the past hour. You ain't the only one. How far back are your plane mates? Well, they're too close for comfort, but we got a little time. Is that the cabin over there? Yeah, and there's a guard outside, and they might be holding Mary. They're holding Elmer, too. Let's rush him. Oh, that would mean shooting, and Marion might get hurt. 
You circle around to the back of the cabin, and Dusty and I'll get the guard outside. Okay. Listen, Elmer, did they hurt you? Only my feelings. Wait till I get a hold of them cold cats. Now you know what to do. Inside the cabin. Marion, get his gun. Get over there. Alibi, get that rope and tie him up. Get back over there and sit down. Sit down, you'll live longer. The range about those horses. We'll dismount and go on foot. Work, Dusty. Guess we'll leave him for the sheriff, right? Eh? Reach for it, all of it. We've been expecting you, Moreland. You've got a letter that belongs to me, Corrigan. I want it. Oh, yeah. A letter from the state engineering department mentioning the $50,000 waiting for you at the bank for Bar H Gravel. Huh? Why you? Just in time, Sheriff. Arrest this man. Wait a minute, Sheriff. 
before you arrest anyone. Crash has a letter here that might interest all of us. Do you know about this letter before? Not until Crash mentioned it a few moments ago. And my brother had given Moreland definite instructions not to renew the gravel contract. What have you got to say about this, Moreland? The whole thing's ridiculous. As guardian of Bob Horner's son, I have a perfect right to handle the estate the way I see fit. But you didn't have a perfect right to order Bob Horner killed. What do you mean? He means that we saw these three hombres ambush Bob Horner and shoot him. That's how we come to have the baby. Well, if those three committed the murder, I didn't know anything about it. They worked for Amos. Sell us out, would you? Moreland planned the whole deal. He wanted me to buy the bar H for him so Horner wouldn't get suspicious. What else? This didn't work. So he planned on bumping Horner off. So he'd be the kid's guardian and get his hands on the gravel contract. Nice. All right. I've got some empty cells for you fellas. Untie those two. We're all heading for town. You bet I love this ranch. <laughs> and everything on it. I sure hate to leave. Then why not stay? You know I need good cowhands. But Marion, gee, I, I got two fine pals and... I really got to go with them, but but I'll be back. Oh, I understand. You just can't leave your pals. Who was the lady I saw you with last night, Elmer? Oh, cut it out, alibi. I told you if you didn't get some new gags, I was put in the act. Well, I did see you going down the street with your piccolo, Elmer. Well, that was no piccolo. That was my fife. You know, Marion, I love this ranch and everything on it. I sure hate to leave it. I know. Don't tell me. You've got two wonderful pals, and you can't leave them. Goodbye, Miss Marion. I certainly enjoyed my stay here with you. Me too, but I got three pals. <laughs> 